Women's World Welterweight Champion Lloyd Hunnigan. Hunnigan heading for the ring at Wembley's Grand Hall and his fourth defense of the WBC title he claimed from Don Curry 14 months ago. His opponent tonight, Mexico's Jorge Vaca, and victory for tonight for Hunnigan would equal Jim Watt's record of four successful world title defeats. Good evening from Wembley, the fight OTV, Hunnigan against Vaca, and at ringside, Harry Carpenter. And the authentic big fight atmosphere in this grand hall. MC Bernard Sullivan all set to make the announcements. To decide the World Boxing Council welterweight championship of the world. Sponsored by OTV PLC. Presenting from Mexico City, the challenger, Jorge Vaca. Hunnigan, 10 stone, 6 pounds, 9 ounces. Your referee for this contest is Mr. Henry Ellisbrew of the United States, and your judges are Mr. Bob Logist of Belgium, Mr. Malcolm Boomer of Australia, Mr. Chuck Hassett of the United States. Your supervisor for the world title win. And Vaca comes to London with the reputation of a man with a punch, but also a man who can be knocked out. And there's the first blow from Hunnigan, the left hook. Hunnigan, the story is all in the last few days of fragile hands and worry in the camp about those hands. Scar on the left eye of Vaca. Hunnigan uh, switching to Southpaw briefly. looping punches going in unconcerned about the punching reputation of Vaca he's a big-looking welterweight as the Mexican had trouble making the weight today Vaca he was a few ounces overweight at the first uh, trial he had to go away and get the weight off Back has come to fight. And Hunnigan being quite clever on the ropes, taken nothing dangerous yet, a lot of them on the arms. Letting the storm blow itself out. And comes back with a good right dig downstairs. The punch inside from Hunnigan. If Vacker's got a suspect chin, Hunnigan will surely find it out. Well, it's a lively opening round to a world title fight, that's for sure. And Vacker is no respecter of reputations. But the quality punching so far has come from the champion Hannigan. Hannigan 
Morgan likes a man who comes to him, and he's certainly getting that. Well, that was a first round packed with interest and excitement. Well, now I'm delighted to tell you that sitting with me at ringside is the man who did so much for British heavyweight boxing the other night uh, at Spurs football ground. Here he is, the big man himself, Frank Bruner. Congratulations, Frank. Thank you very much, Harry. That was a fine yes. performance. I think you were pretty satisfied with the performance yeah, too, weren't you? Glad to get that one out of the way, Harry. Very did you glad. Think it was, did you think it was your best ever performance? Considering all the pressure and everything, I think so, Harry, yeah. Most definitely. Now, I've got another thing to congratulate you about because today the WBC have nominated you the number one contender right. in their books for the, uh, the Tyson title. How do you feel about that? Very good, Harry. Harry. Very good, thanks. Do you think the chance for fighting Tyson is now right on next year? I'm not too sure. I think you've got to ask Mickey Duff and Terry Lawless that question, but I'll be looking forward to that fight. Okay, Frank. Right, Thank let's you. watch Mr. Allen. Round two. Well, Hannigan certainly lived a little dangerously in the opening round. And he was so intent on getting his own punches in, he was a bit open, but he, he took nothing really serious. Vac has felt the weight of his punch and he feels it again. A right top of the head and again. And the Mexican most certainly wavered a bit there. He wobbled. Californian referee here. I tell you something, you never get a dull fight with Hannigan these days. He really does go for the man. Good punch. Well, ruled, ruled low. It looked about right to me, but ruled low. Hannigan, 27, same age as Vacker. Hannigan, 31 fights, 31 wins. And already back his face beginning to show the marks of battle. He's got a few scars from previous fights. And the face already reddened, but still looking quite dangerous when he attacks. everything into these early moments well you couldn't ask for a better action fight than this first two rounds have been really quite remarkable for action can they really go 12 at this pace I don't think so And Vacker's looking very shaky to me at the moment, but still coming back with his own big punches. This man, Hannigan, sort of, oh, he's got a cut under the right eye. Well, that's not a dangerous place, but uh, it's a sign of the danger that uh, Vacker is offering. So the champion cut. Well, here's confirmation of the fine Hannigan record. 100% professional record, 31 fights, 31 wins, 20 of them have come inside the distance. He's been a pro for seven years. Frank, what do you think about this? That's not good news for Lloyd. Not very good news at all, Harry. It's an exciting fight, but that ain't very good news at all with the cut eye and his hands and his mind as well, you know? What do you think he's got worries about? 
I'm not too sure. He says uh, about his family and whatever, but I'm not too sure. You know, he should have left that at home and concentrate on this one because he's a very dangerous guy. This guy's fighting. Second round, round three. So with the grease, the grease smeared under his right eye, the champion Hunnigan comes out for round three, having exposed himself a little too much to the punches of Vaca. And now. It's a very pressing engagement for Hunnigan to try to get Vacker out of the way before he does any more damage. Vacker's been a pro longer than Hunnigan since early 1978, nine years. His brother was a Mexican welterweight champion before him, Felipe. Moving into punch, but taking right hands as he comes in and ignoring them. And gambling everything on out punching back. Taking huge risks now, Hannigan. Totally gambling on knocking the man out. And he's hit him with his best and freshest punches, and he hasn't done it yet. here between these two. Hunnigan trying to fight his way off the ropes and he can't get off. And this tall man, Vacker, who looks altogether bigger than Hunnigan, swarming all over the champion. Hunnigan's southpaw again. Is that a sign, I wonder, of damaged hands? Leading with the right. Back to orthodox. Well, this is all about survival now between these two, even this early. Back is slowing down. And another low punch ruled by the referee there from Hunnigan. And the Mexican comes back again. Remember, he wasn't the original opponent either. He replaced Bobby Joe Young. professionally right where his own stool is Frank he's thrown some of his best punches he's had a go to knock the man out and it hasn't worked has it right. I've known Lloyd for so many years and I've never seen him look like this in the corner before even in amateur fights and professional fights as well you, know, but... you mean cut like this yeah cut bust up like that yeah does he look at his work does it look a bit anxious to you as though he's trying so hard to get rid of the man and it's yeah, not working yeah it's not working yeah so what does he do next I'm not too sure, Harry. Just go out there and keep moving and hope to get a good shot over. They're both putting him. so much effort into these early rounds right. that you, you feel that one, one or the other is going to get very yeah. tired very right. quickly. I hope it's the other geezer. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, uh, they're both taking a lot of good punches. Like Mickey Duff that. trying to talk some good advice right. into the ear of Hunnigan. <laughs> Thrilling. World welterweight title fight here. Hunnigan in the black trunks defending. Trying to equal Jim Watt's post-war record of four successful world title defenses. off a little bit now trying to wait for the opportunities to throw the punch rather than mix it still the right hand of Vacker dangerous well 
Well, I've never seen a pushover Mexican fighter ever, and this fellow's certainly not one. Both gone south one. That's very interesting, that. Which is no worse. Hannigan's boxed an entirely different fight in this round. They've both turned south for, and Hannigan has made a point of uh, standing off and punching rather than going in in all out mixing. And it certainly paid dividends. said what would he do next Hunnigan and this is what he decided to do and maybe Mickey Duff decided for him but a different uh, style of boxing here apart from turning southpaw back has gone back to the orthodox stance again well, Hunnigan most certainly had the better of that round and maybe the pace is telling on the Mexican. Mexican welterweight champion for three and a half years. Let's have a look at his record. 48 fights, 42 wins. Now you see 37 on him, he's won inside the distance. So that uh, speaks volumes for his punch. But it's interesting that the five fights he's lost have all been lost inside the distance. He's never been beaten on points. And he's certainly been knocked out at least three times. Frank, he's a, he's a tough customer. Very tough, very dangerous, Harry. Very. All the punches what he throws are cutting and busting up sort of punches, so the guy's got to be very careful in there. Why do you think they both turn south? I'm not too sure. Maybe they hurt the hands or that's their style of trying to confuse the other opponent, Harry. Very unusual to see both fighters turn. Yeah. Training in the United States, Hunnigan has had uh, a special left hand glove made for him for training by the man who's looked after Mike Tyson's hands, the doctor. And of course, a few years ago, Hunnigan had a steel pin put in his left thumb, so he's, he's had hand problems over the years. Punch from Vacker. Made Hunnigan back right off. Well, this is uh, the toughest championship fight that Hunnigan's had yet. And that includes the, uh, the, the, the fight in which he took the title from Don Curry. He had a difficult defense against uh, Morris Blocker difficult man from the States, but it was not nearly as tough as this. And still, Vacker is very dangerous. This is turning into the hardest fight Lloyd's ever had.
no knockdowns. Round five. And back is still advancing. No matter what Hunnigan throws, the Mexican comes forward. Hunnigan's nose bleeding again. And this time the punches rain on the head of Hunnigan. He, he misses some, but he takes some as well. But he gets an appreciative clap from the crowd for getting out of those, uh, getting out of that corner so cleverly. Good attack. Good finish to the round by Hannigan. The best part of the whole round point came at the finish. He suddenly looked, Frank, he looked uh, extremely efficient at the end of that round. Didn't very, he? very efficient, yeah, Harry. He got caught with a couple of um, right hands there, but he came back very, very well. It's a very tough fight, very good fight. Yeah, um, but much harder, I think, than any of us believed it would be. You ain't lying Lloyd. about that, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can never tell with the fight game, Harry. We're going to have a look, Frank, here at the, the finish of the round. He put some good punches together here, yeah. Lloyd, didn't he? We'll see him in slow motion. That's a beauty. Sharp. And the bell. Do you feel worried at all about uh, Lloyd's chance in this? Do you think there's a chance still that he might well lose the title in this? There's always a chance, Harry. You know, I mean, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that, you know what I mean, he doesn't lose the title. But there's always a chance in boxing. That's what makes it so exciting when people come to watch it. Second round, round six. And these two men who've been battling away furiously and throwing punches non-stop for five rounds, now near the halfway mark. Scheduled 12 rounder for the, the WBC title that Hunnigan holds. His other title, the IBF, the International Boxing Federation title, that is not up here. So if Hunnigan were to lose, he'd still hold that. Hunnigan, much the sharper and more accurate puncher, but at the same time, the strong man from Mexico comes wading forward. That was low. Now that most certainly was low. There were two on the borderline, but that was very low indeed. And he's been given a few seconds to recover here by Mr. Ellis Pure, the American referee. And the Mexican looks quite badly distressed. And the crowd think he's making too much of it. The referee's giving him every chance. And on they go. So there'll be a considerable number of seconds knocked off for that. And they're both boxing right foot and right fist forward again. Just above the belt. Good right again from Hunnigan, leading with the right and punching hard with it. And there's the left, the one that might be very fragile. Good round so far by Hunnigan. Doing all the work. for the first time looks more concerned with keeping out of trouble than actually pressing home any attacks. Uh, one of the best rounds he's had. He pretty well dominated the whole round. 
and needed to because things were beginning to get a little bit out of hand. This man was hit very low indeed in that round, Jorge Vaca, comes from Guadalajara. And that's over 5,000 feet above sea level, so uh, he probably has a lot of stamina. We can have a look now at that low punch that Lloyd threw here, and it really was very low. Yes, well, that doesn't need any explanation, Frank. The centre wicket, Harry, no messing around. <laughs> Yeah, well, he mustn't do too many of those or <laughs> get himself into trouble here. <laughs> Don't want to see him disqualified. Right, that would true. be fatal. <laughs> so we're past the halfway mark. Hannigan in defence of the WBC title. Mexican opponent he's ever met. Probably wishes he hadn't. Yeah. Yeah. Slips into the south core stance again. Interesting how men who are used to boxing orthodox can suddenly turn and apparently box just as well the other way around. Too many punches now. The fighting fury of the early rounds has uh, calmed down. But you have a feeling there's still a lot to come in this fight, and there could be surprises in store yet. saying, was he supposed to come at me when you were trying to separate us or talk to us? And certainly, Vaca went back into action a bit sharpish there. This is not such a good round for, for Hannigan. He's been picked up on the end of that uh, lead of Vaca's. Hannigan steps the pace up, and once again, Hannigan has to work.